grandpa in my pocket. It was the school holidays, and Grandpa Jemima and I were playing a Captain Dumbletwit board game. I get the planet Matoki. I wanted that one. Mum and Dad were getting ready to go away for a few days. I go. The good news was that while they were away, Mr. Like a Biker was looking after the bike shop. Oh. And there's nothing Mr. Like a Biker likes more. The bad news was, guess who was looking after Grandpa, Jemima and me? Great Aunt Loretta, Grandpa's sister. Great Aunt Loretta is always making spinach and sprout shake, which we call green glue. Ooh, yum! And all kinds of weird food that she thinks is yum. Yum. And she's oh. often like this, or like this, or like this. <gasps> and she makes Grandpa feel like this. Oh. And don't you chew my slippers, you bad boy. I know what you're like. Aunt Loretta isn't keen on Beowulf. In fact, she isn't keen on animals at all. You sure you're going to be all right, Aunt Loretta? Yes, I'll look after them. I'm good at looking after things. Oh, no. What? I just remembered. What? Looking after things. What? I'm supposed to be looking after something today for my friend Dory. What? This was what? Mr. Scoffbucket, the goat. Mr. Scoffbucket, I wonder why he's called that. Aw, oh, I think he looks really cute. Beowulf didn't think Mr. Scoffbucket looked at all cute. He ran to the house and up to my bedroom. instructions for how to take care of him. Yes, it's just for today. Dorian will collect him this evening. Are you sure you'll be all right? Yes, we'll be all right. So will Mr. Scoffbucket. Don't you worry. So Mum and Dad went off on their holiday and we were left in charge of Mr. Scoffbucket. Right, Jemima. Now, let's see this list. Now, leave it to me. Oh, I have a way with goats. I can talk to them. They like me. Don't be so silly. Oh, I think he's so sweet. Don't touch it. Uh, I'll get a bucket for some water. And Jemima went off to the garage in search of a bucket. You never can tell with goats. I was once butted in the bottom by one. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you? Get inside the pair of you. Leave this to me. So I followed Grandpa inside. But I didn't think for one second he would leave Mr. Scoff Bucket to Great Aunt Loretta. Now. Don't do anything bad, you. I'm going to do the washing, I am. Well, Jason, if she won't let us help her, and she sent us indoors, there's only one thing for it. Not a shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. Do you know when Grandpa shrinks, all kinds of magical things happen. He can get into my car and make it go. He can chuff around in my Sunny Sands train. And he can even fly off in my plane. And that's what he did today. Ah! Stop that plane, Jason! Stop it! Great Aunt Loretta thinks my plane is radio-controlled and that I'm making it go. Oh, go and get the peg bag, you annoying boy. At that moment, Grandpa landed my plane right next to Mr. Scoffbucket. Don't worry, Mr. Scoffbucket. We won't let her be nasty to you. Just do as I say and everything will be fine. And Grandpa hid just as Jemima came back with the bucket. Jason, your plane. Mr. Scoffbucket could have trampled all over that. Thanks. Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? Oh, typical. Leaves me to do everything. I'll look after Mr. Scoffbucket. Me too! Oh, no, you can't. He is dangerous. And I'm in charge. What would your mother say if I let you get nibbled by a goat? Ooh. So off went Great Aunt Loretta with the bucket. <laughs> now, just you drink that and try and behave yourself. <laughs> you kick it! 
didn't you? You kicked the bucket. You should be called Mr. Kick Bucket. You should. <laughs> he kicked the bucket. He's a bad goat. I knew it. I'm not sure that was such a good idea. You'll only make her worse. A little later, we all helped Great Aunt Loretta to hang out the washing. Suddenly, I saw Grandpa. He climbed the tree to get a better view. Grandpa was laughing at Great Aunt Loretta's washing. And I didn't blame him because it looked like this. <laughs> we'll go and get Mr. Scoffbucket's food ready. <laughs> oh, you will, will you? Great Aunt Loretta insisted that she should give Mr. Scoffbucket his food. So Jemima and I stood watching her. She once got butted in the bottom by a goat. <laughs> there. Now, don't spill it. Eat it nicely. Yum! But Mr. Scoffbucket didn't think the food was yum. He kicked the bucket over. At that moment, I saw Grandpa jump out of the tree. Oh, my ankle. And then Grandpa climbed onto Mr. Scoffbucket's back. Well, that wasn't very sensible, if you don't mind me saying. Oh, no, no, stay here. But no, Mr. Scoffbucket had a plan. Ah, he did it. He butted me in the bottom. Oh. Now, that really hasn't helped, has it? Oh, 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 get the peas, Jason. That's it. So I went to the freezer to get the peas that we keep especially for these moments. Usually, Great Aunt Loretta hurts her toe, and we put the peas on that. This time, it was her bottom. Ooh. Meanwhile, Mr. Scoffbucket was eating Great Aunt Loretta's pants. He's eating me pants! And at that moment, Mr. Scoffbucket pulled the washing line down. Run! Oh, upstairs! Upstairs! Come on! And Grandpa came running in. I was hoping he had another plan, because we were desperate now. We need help, Jason. We need someone strong and brave and... I know. Write me a note, quick. So I grabbed a pencil and Grandpa told me what to write. Calm down, Great Aunt Loretta. I'm sure it'll be fine. Fine? How can it be fine? It's not me over. He's eating me pants. What's he going to do next? He's running around the sitting room. You see? He leaves everything. And then he'll make a terrible mess. And then he'll probably go to the... Great Aunt Loretta doesn't say the word toilet out loud because she thinks it's rude. I looked out of my bedroom window and saw Grandpa flying off in my plane. He'd gone for help. <laughs> oh, I like a bottle with a slurpy, nozzly type thing. <laughs> Mr. Like a Biker was having a great time sorting things out. <laughs> ah, need more bottles? <laughs> and at that moment, who should fly in but Grandpa? As Grandpa flew over the counter, he dropped my note. Then, as quickly as he came, he was gone. <laughs> Hello, what's this? It's a note. <laughs> Oh, it's from Jason. I missed him. Please come to the Mason house at once. Mr. Scoffbucket has eaten Great Aunt Loretta's pants. Oh, no. I hope she wasn't wearing them at the time. Right, I must go. Um, uh, yes, right. Here we go. <laughs> Soon, Grandpa was back home. I'll be right back. Mr. Scoffbucket had eaten a pile of newspapers and was halfway through Great Aunt Loretta's slipper. I ran outside to find Grandpa. Cap off, Grandpa, quick! Don't worry, Jason. Help is on the way. Never fear! Like a biker's here! That, that way! way. Oh, right. Oh. We did it, Jason. Mr. Like a biker will sort out Mr. Scoffbucket in no time. Teamwork. Teamwork. 
<laughs> Miss Like a Biker led Mr Scoff Bucket out into the garden. Come on, Philip. Philip? Yeah, it's his first name, Philip Scoff Bucket. If you use their first names, they're always a lot more friendly. <laughs> So Philip Scoffbucket waited patiently to be collected and we all tidied up inside. Later, everything was back to normal. Oh, thank you so much, Mr Likerbiker. I don't know what we'd have done without you. Oh, it was a pleasure. I'm quite keen on goats. Yeah, that's what Grandpa said. Oh, fat lot of help he was. He just went for a little lie down. You wouldn't let me help. If you'd let me help, Mr. Scoffbucket wouldn't have eaten your slipper. Or your pants. Yum! <laughs> <laughs>